This barricade roof rack is for those of you that have a 1997 to 2006 TJ that are looking for a way to carry more gear in, or in this case, on your Wrangler. TJs are very small on the inside, especially if you have a rear seat installed. There's not a lot of room for gear. So if you're looking to carry some larger stuff or just some more stuff, a roof rack is a great way to go. This is going to be a completely bolt-on roof rack, definitely a one out of three wrench installation, and we'll talk more about that in just a second. Roof racks are definitely going to give you a lot more space to carry more gear and larger gear. However, if you do some more hardcore wheeling, you're not going to want to have a ton of weight up on the roof rack that can make you top heavy. And when you're in those off camber situations can make things a little bit tippy. However, if you're running some fire trails, you're getting back and forth to a campground or you're using your roof rack on the road, this is going to hold up to 350 pounds and give you a ton more utility from your TJ. This is also going to be a rack that's going to be fairly inexpensive when you consider a lot of the other racks out there. Now, some of those other racks are going to be a little bit more sturdy. They're going to have a couple additional features or have some stuff that's designed to be directly bolted onto that roof rack to give it even more utility. This is going to be a stripped down, very simple roof rack, but that also allows it to be a little less expensive. This roof rack is made of mostly two inch round tubing. It's going to attach onto the windshield hinge bolts up front and onto the frame in the back. So again, no need to drill any holes in your Jeep. You are going to have to have a non wraparound bumper installed on your TJ in order to get those brackets installed on the frame and not have the bumper be in the way. This does have some crossbars built right into the top of it. Of course, that's what's going to end up holding most of your loads. They are going to be removable so that you can flip down your soft top or remove your hard top from your Jeep without needing to completely remove your uh, roof rack. Some other roof racks will completely be hinged and they'll fold back out of the way of the top. This, you have to remove the crossbars to take your top up and down. Maybe a couple more steps, but it is going to be a little bit easier to do by yourself with just one person than flipping an entire roof rack back. That being said, the thumb screws that come in order to hold those crossbars in place like to get stripped out. So a lot of people will swap them with something else. Just keep that in mind while you're using this rack. Now we're gonna have a member from our install team show you how to get this bolted up to your TJ. We're gonna begin our installation by removing the corner pieces from our rear bumper. You will not be able to reuse these, unfortunately. And that's only if you still have the stock rear bumper on your Jeep TJ. We're gonna follow that by removing the hardware from the front door hinges so we can bolt the uprights in place. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our front doors just to make installation a little easier and so no alignment issues happen when removing the hinges. Simple as opening your door, disconnecting your strap, and lifting it up off the pins. We're gonna begin removing the front hardware with the top two hinge bolts, and then we're gonna move down to the bottom two. First part of our roof rack to go on is the front upright. This is gonna bolt right in place over your factory hinges. Next, we're gonna remove the two retaining nuts on the back of the bumper. Get these out of the way so we can install our next upright. Now that we got our rear lower in place, we're gonna go ahead and install our rear upper and our forward bar at the same time because they all interlock with each other. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your upper forward bar is oriented in the correct position so that the holes for the crossbars are facing slightly downward.
All your tubes will fit really tightly together. This is a good thing, they won't rattle around, but you might want to use a mallet just to get them into place. Just give them a light tap. That should get them all sitting nice and tightly together. We're gonna to go ahead and install our hardware just to hold our bars together, but we're gonna install it loosely. We're gonna go back at the end and tighten everything up. Now that our one side is done and assembled, you wanna go ahead and repeat all of these steps for the opposite side before we go ahead and put in our crossbars. It's the same exact procedure, just on the opposite side. All right, now that our side rails are together and mounted and loosely installed, we're gonna go ahead and add our crossbars in. We're gonna begin with the middle one. Go ahead, put it over, right up in there. Once you got your crossbar set in place, you're gonna go ahead and take one of your longer bolts with a washer, slide it in from the bottom. Then you're gonna take one of these knobs, supply it in the kit. Go ahead and screw it down from the top. Now that all our bars are mounted, we're gonna go ahead and go back and tighten everything up and snug it down. This roof rack's gonna run you right around $300, which is going to be a lot less expensive than some of those premium roof racks that are on the market. Those premium racks will sometimes have a basket built into them or a basket designed specifically to go on them. They will have additional attachment points for lights, for uh, high lift mounts, for jacks, for axes, for whatever. Um, and this is definitely going to be a little bit of a simpler design, not have a lot of those add-ons. Some of those other racks will maybe be a little bit sleeker looking. They tuck a little bit closer to the top, have a little bit more style. This is just going to be a simple rack. This just gets the job done. And if that's what you're looking for, you can save a lot of money by going this direction. If you want a few more frills, we have those racks available as well. So if you're looking for a good, simple roof rack for your TJ, I definitely recommend this option from Barricade and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.